Well, hello. Today we're going to take a look at the Hot Wheels Club Kit, available in 1970 and 71. Normally you could uh, send for these in the mail. These were also available on the store shelves. You see, this one was uh, originally suggested for a dollar, and this one sold for 55 cents. Pretty cool. We're going to open it up and see what's inside. Take a look at the box a little bit. You get all this. We're going to see if it's all in there. Including the book. Alright. This is how it's all in there. Slide out the contents. behind it here all right first off we've got our club car see the button's supposed to be here so we're missing a button and this one we got a heavy Chevy really nice this is how it would come on the cardboard with a rubber band Set that on top. Get what else we have in here? Got a booklet. Let's take these, uh, give us some room. Get a lot of stuff in here. Set the box off to the side, give us some room. So we can see what all we get in here. All right, here's our iron-on patch, and yes, it is supposed to look this way, because this is a reverse transfer. You would just iron it on. So you got your official, official driver patch. Get a uh, sticker sheet with all these Hot Wheels stickers on it. Pretty neat. You get your official Hot Wheels Club Membership Award. Here's this card in your wallet. Officially registers you as a member. So they actually give you a certificate, a little driver's license card, and then you can mail away so you can register as an official member. That's pretty neat. What else we got in here? Let's try to put that off to the side a little bit. Ooh, we get a nice uh, collector's album. I don't even know if we can, we have enough, uh, space to see all this. This is a nice color catalog. All the new Sizzlers models you can get. There's a lot of pages in this. Showing the track sets. Okay, let's, uh, now I need to get this out of the way. Taking up some space. Okay, track sets we saw. More track set type stuff. Oh, here's the Sizzlers. Snake and Mongoose advertisement. For the track set too. Pretty neat. A lot of little story. We're not going to read through the whole thing. We'll just take a flip through the book to see what we got. Grand Toros. That's pretty neat. See all the Grand Toros that were available that year. New and exciting models. 
Oh, here's a big track set. Let's see, what one does it say it is? Yeah, it doesn't. It just says accessories. Oh, here's some models here. Get your membership. Ooh, classic cord in blue. Old 442. This must be about 1971. 1970, 1971. They probably stayed in the shelves for a while. Oh, here's a nice uh, display. I like to photograph this and run it into a picture frame. Oh, more little stories. Ooh, these are neat in the sand. See a red bear and a sand crab up on top. The woody, hot heap, evil weevil. Some more track sets. Actually have that rod runner. Dual rod runner track set. Oh, there's a sky show right there, too. So there's a single lane rod runner, a dual lane rod runner. Oh, this has monogram models in it. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of cool. See the ice tea, the school bus, Red Baron, Paddy Wagon, Bad News. A few you recognize on there. Got a mean Maverick funny car. Tarantula funny car. Huh, this book that comes in here is a little more interesting than some of the rest. Grand Prix. Pretty neat. I got spoilers on this side. Got my finger on it. That's funny. There's no number. You know, there's no Rondo. On the Evil Weevil. But it's a spoiler. What else is in here? More concourse cars, that's what it calls it. So it's on the top collector's concourse. Got a, got a snake. Don't we'll see a mongoose. I like that mighty maverick up there. That's an odd color there for that. Like a light blue. More track set. A pretty neat book. Oh, heavyweights. Here's all the heavyweights. All right, I guess that's what you'd typically get in your club kit. So you get your book, your membership with card and board, your sticker sheet, your iron-on patch, inside the box, with your chrome special car which could either be a boss hoss heavy chevy or nitty gritty kitty should have a button here in that little slot but evidently we don't have a button right now maybe it's still in the box or it fell on the floor but i don't think so all right thanks for watching oh yeah let's spin the car a little bit All right. Bye-bye.